Hello guys, good morning, good morning. It's me again, Ryan, and I'm back with a good recovery, a pretty good day trading recap. Uh, yeah, so today I actually traded Oracle, but I totally missed IMMU. That was a really good move. I'm going to show you later. That's the one I was trying to trade at first, but it's it keeps showing me that I don't have enough, enough buying power, so I don't know what really happened. Even I tried to use... 90 percent or whatever of my buying power but it's it wasn't really uh buying anything so i ended up chasing oracle and that's what i traded today uh as you can see here let me no not that so i only traded oracle as you can see here uh, a good good trade in oracle um we got like a really bad halt like it took about I don't know, 935 to like almost an hour, probably 40 minutes or something. So I I kind of chased Oracle because I totally missed IMMU. So I was really trying to short IMMU here. I'm gonna show it to you later. I was trying to short here at uh, this price, but it keeps giving me that uh an error that I don't have enough shares. This could have been a really, really good trade. But because of that, I had FOMO, then I ended up trading, trading Oracle. I chase it, a really good trade. I was, because since it was a chase, I wanted momentum. I was actually risking somewhere here because I, like, I, I knew that it's going to drop more. But the thing is, it's a chase. And then I got into a halt. So I was going to close my trade. It was just a 30 cent risk. 30 cent risk. My risk will probably be around six. It's around the high of this candle or something and then it halted because of the news uh i don't know about tiktok or something and then yeah it halted it opened really high it opened somewhere here 61 and it went i mean i mean, i end up red here when uh opened really really bad it's like a dollar it opened a dollar but uh if i close i'm just gonna end up uh small red because uh, i didn't you know i have i've i've taken most of my shares here already so i decided to wait i was gonna get out here but i thought it's really gonna go down more like look at that the candle was here but it's just it was just moving too fast so i decided to get out here i got squeezed 61 was my 61 around 61 is my my stop actually and then i got squeezed and i stopped out and it was just really really bad but and then I said, should I trade or accept the red? Because I ended up red after this. I said, okay, maybe I'm gonna try risk this 61.25. So I took took trade here, there, stopped out, tried another one. Uh, really last trade. I said, if I since I'm red, I'm gonna try one more. Really tight risks, like probably high of this candle or something. Really, really bad move and yeah it's it went well and then i gained all my losses back stopped out the rest i thought it was really gonna go to a uh, low day again but yeah it didn't and what happened was it recovered it squeezed again and then i really wanted to short it here since i like 61 i kind of like 61 but yeah it's like no nah, i'm gonna i'm gonna stop trading but yeah it's a uh, bit of a mess because of this could have been a really really good trade if you know if it continued but yeah let's let's watch okay a few seconds to open i was actually watching uh oracle but it opened a bit too much a bit too too low from vwaps that's why i decided maybe i'm not going to trade it but i i, I didn't see this i didn't see this volume i was looking at imu this could have been a really good short as well, risking probably high of this candle. But the thing is, I didn't trade it because I thought it's gonna go to 25-ish and then squeeze down. But this rejection is 61. It's a really, really good entry. I should have traded that. But the thing is, I was focused on, what's this? IMMU, I was watching IMMU. I was really trying to short here, but look at this. Like, uh. I, I it says I don't have enough buying power. I said, oh, what happened? So because of that, I saw that I saw that what's this uh, Oracle is dropping. And I said, oh my god, I should have traded Oracle instead. 
risk 61 i have a level at 61 and then it's just now i have fomo i, I was trying to short it again and then i decided not to do it anymore just i kept trying i was trying to reduce my shares i can't really get in i don't know why i said okay i don't know what happened now so then i moved to oracle and then chased it risking 25 or 32 good thing it it really worked or else i'll be in really really bad shape so i was actually forcing myself to get out at break even because it's too far i had to, I had to get out of break even because it's too far so, but i saw a big order at 50 area and i was confident it's gonna go there took some more off and then it halted i was like what's happening and then i was looking at imu it looks like it's gonna drop as you can see here but yeah oh it goes back sorry sorry it resumed go back what about that yeah. so i i paused it my paused my recording so it resumed after uh after the halt i paused my recording but as you can see here let's go back here go back to immu it's really really good trade i was really trying to short it here but i just i yeah anyway i i pressed this by accident but like i said if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel like a good segue so follow me on my instagram and my social media account twitter and everything and don't forget hit like and subscribe to my youtube channel uh if you're watching this so let's go back to my trade it's gonna resume i think yep so look at that it's crazy it got rejected here it opened somewhere here just really really crazy 61.25 man i should have put my stop in here 61.25 not in 61 like i have this candle but i was i was still green here but i was thinking i said i said maybe it's gonna reject 61 i really like 61 number but i have my stop here instead and i got squeezed and i'm like man wow but you know i gave back probably half but i ended up red like i ended up red so i was going to trade this again risking probably i don't know maybe a dollar or something because i didn't know how much risk i have in here so but i said for me to be able to get back my losses i have to trade a bit bigger so a dollar risk is probably too too wide so i traded 650 cents around here really really good trade i gained all my losses back back to green whatever profit i have here is the same on what i have here a really good trade let's pass over this a bit yeah so i was really hoping for a, a break of 60 dollars yeah that's round i love round numbers as you can see here you will you will know that it's gonna break it's on round numbers are the best i like trading round numbers now just sorry about this mess recording problem so look at that it dropped about 15 cents it's crazy so i took profit in there looking at the price now 10 cents i should have gotten all out at 60 60 43 is my average i really thought it's gonna drop more if it gets rejected somewhere here i thought it's gonna get rejected at this low uh low pre-market but it wasn't weak enough i said if i got stopped it's gonna squeeze if it's squeezed it's gonna head down 61 is the key level actually to short if someone's really buying it then it should have should have been uh broken here but it held yeah today was a mess sorry about my video it's kind of like a mess but yeah we survived that's the best thing about it price action reading is the key to succeed in this kind of moment of trade yeah i don't like i keep it simple i trade with vwap vwap i trade with just round numbers and lines 
where to enter, where to exit. I look for round. I don't know. I don't know why I don't have a level here. I should have drawn a, a green line. It's I normally draw a green line at round numbers. Like this one, sixty one, sixty sixty one, seventy five is probably where uh, I look at the price if it gets rejected or if it holds. Could have been a good side if it consolidates here. Maybe a good long, but it didn't go there. Yeah, I got stopped. But yeah, that's that's about it. So this is how it looks when it gets halted. A crazy, crazy move. So I'm so glad I survived. Like I was red, but all good. Happens. I really wanted to short it here again. Like I have this idea that sixty one will be 61 rejection will be a good one, but I didn't like how it squeezed. That's why I wasn't really confident. I thought like 61, I thought it's gonna retain this level. But 61 is around this area, so it this is really good short. Like you short here, somewhere here, there is 61. Yeah. So yeah, where, where's my level? So my plan was actually to trade it long if it breaks uh, like this, this area here 6160 and let's see what happens at 6175 for a break of 62 so that was the plan but it opened really weak so i had to change the plan stock is gap up so that's what that's why i was kind of like a, a long bias here but you know at the open if it gives you a red, red candle uh and the volume it gets rejected it's actually a, a green candle but it's below vwap so that's another thing to consider if uh if it's green candles above vwap then it's a good so if it's if it opens somewhere here and it's a green candle with volume like this 1.7 million volume and then it's a good uh it's it's a good what's this it's a good one more orb that's why i didn't really look at it because it's a green candle uh, i thought it's gonna squeeze to 61.75 and then drop that's that's the that's the mentality yes or the plan that they had that's why I really wanted to short IMMU, which happened to IMMU because it's below VWAP, red candle, volume is 1.6 million. So this is my perfect setup. This is my perfect setup. Red candle, below VWAP, even it's a gap down. Uh, I know it's a sell off and it's a buy off, but there's volume 1.6 million. Who, who, will, who will not trade this, right? So red candle, below VWAP. One minute or that's what happens so because uh, there's 1.6 million volume in here this volume is crazy so it's risking here but oh man probably stock is too expensive for uh for my account but yeah uh pretty good day not bad a good start for monday we haven't had a red day for a month and yeah hope you like my video if you haven't please subscribe to my channel follow me on my social media accounts or if you have any friends who has the same interest in trading please let them know about this trade uh stay safe there's still pandemic happening and like really bad smoke outside because of the forest fire so you know have a good day, everyone stay safe wear mask and you know um stay green and take care of your health have a good day please subscribe if you can me